Hey, what's up guys? So, I don't know if you've heard, but World of Tanks 1.0 will be releasing soon. All new visual effects, music, sound, maps, everything. Pretty much what happened was that they noticed that their game was a bit outdated when it came to visuals, but then again, no other graphics engine other than the one they used for World of Tanks, World of Warplanes, and World of Warships was able to actually handle uh, what World of Tanks uniquely needed from its graphics engine. So what they did was they decided to just make their own. Core is going to be their new graphics engine, which, trust me, is not anything to shudder at. Check out the old version of this map and the new one. We're actually going to take a look at this map in particular during the benchmark, but I mean vast expanses, realistic terrain, soaking in responsive water, rich volumetric flora, photorealistic skies, advanced lighting, destructible objects, post effects, everything. Check this out. All the screenshots of these maps are absolutely incredible. When you've got, you know, the dipping valley of certain maps, and then you've got Klondike and all kinds of other maps that are just going to look absolutely incredible. Fisherman's Bay, you got, oh, I mean, El Haluf, all these maps are going to look absolutely incredible, and it's not just screenshots, don't think that they're just trying to put this out there and go, you know, oh, this is what we see it happening, this is what we see it uh, being, I mean, trust me, you're going to be pretty shocked, but a completely remastered sound system, recording over 15 terabytes of audio information, which, I mean, to tell you the truth, 15 terabytes of audio is a lot of audio. Now do keep in mind that it'll have, you know, music resonating with the map setting, creating unique atmosphere for each battlefield. You've got, you know, unique cultural instruments and people, musicians, playing the music that will be on each map in terms of theming which is going to be really cool. Now, visual optimization, making sure not to use, you know, uh, too much uh, power on the processor, etc., etc. Anyway, check out the the article at this URL, and then you're able to check out Encore. Encore is the new uh, benchmarking tool used by Wargaming to show if, or to determine, if you'll actually be able to play the game at all. Um, what's cool is that even on low, you will be able to play the game, so if you do have an outdated rig, or you have an older style computer, they are not ignoring you. When it comes to upgrading the visuals and the sound, they're not ignoring people with less than great rigs, so don't worry about that. Uh, lots of information about that. New Soviet tech tree revisions and all kinds of cool stuff, so check out, check, definitely just check out this article. It's worth it. But I thought I would show you guys that not only do I have the World of Tanks client running in the background, but I will also run the Encore benchmark test with it in the background. Uh, with with nothing else running on my computer, I was able to achieve 22,057 points, which does qualify as an ultra-quality test, so I will be able to run the, the new version of the game in brilliant 4K. Um, the great thing about it is, is that this is not like a year down the road, this is in March. They are promising a rollout of the system in March, which I'm very looking uh, looking very much forward to. They've been working on it for four years. But you know what? Enough of me talking. Let's take a look. You are going to love the way this looks and sounds. Especially the water effects. This will take several minutes. Listen to this incredible music. All orchestrated not synthesized and artificially made. piece havoc effects. Oh, look at that. There's still a couple things they need to fix. <laughs>
watch these water effects. The rippling. Pillar of water. Wow. <laughs> Looks way better than it did. new visual effects, new sound, new music. I mean, they're modifying maps. They're going to make this thing way better. So what did I do? We got a 2740. Okay, so that has been pretty much the uh, the, the trend. The, the longer I have all these things open on my computer, uh, the less I perform. Uh, but download the client, see what you can do, uh, see what the performance is going to be. I, I pretty much am locked at 60 frames per second in 4K for this new version, and I look forward to playing it. But anyway, as always, this has been Beefy1223. I'm going to actually be starting my new YouTube channel soon. Um, I'm wanting to focus primarily on tanks, considering it's the main game that I play, and I'm not too terrible at it. So uh, be on the lookout for that. I'll put links in all my World of Tanks videos to the new channel. Um, but it's been a pleasure. Check you guys later.